You know, data is only good when you use it, when you do something with that data. And that's what Factory Wiz is all about. It captures the data we need to see. In the industry we're in, it's highly regulated. So once we do first time runs, our program and our process is locked. So we want to get that information up front so we can give them the best process to make the best parts the most efficient way possible. Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. I'm with my buddy Paul here today, and we're going to talk about factory whiz monitoring at Phillips Precision Medicraft. Paul is the production engineer lead here, so he's going to go in depth as to the concept of how Factory Wiz works for him and what he can find while diving in and looking at all of these machines around the shop. So, Paul, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you, Tony. Pleasure to uh, pleasure to be here with you today. You know, sometimes people return in that answer and go, "I didn't even want to do this," but you did want to do it, and I appreciate you wanting to do that. So, let's jump into this software. I see colors everywhere, you see numbers everywhere, you see money everywhere, right? You better believe it. Yeah, here, here we can see what machines are running, and if they're not running, it gives us a real uh, indication as to why. You know, you can see here that the green is it's running successfully, we can monitor the batches, we can see when machines are turned off, we can see when the robots are doing a pallet change. All this information at our, at our fingertips, it's just, it's a camp, money can't buy that. It's. Uh, Basically, we pride ourselves on being a, a data-driven company. With this data, we can make we can make decisions in real time on how a job is going. You know, um, part of my role here is engineering function. You know, we quote uh, we quote all our new jobs, and with this factory whiz, we can actually compare the actual setup time, the actual machining time versus our estimate, and that gives us the power to either. Uh, reduce the cost and pass the savings on to our customer. In some cases, we may need to reprocess or, or, or increase the cost. This information to me almost seems completely invaluable in the sense of we all have an idea of what an investment is going to cost. We talk with the sales guys, we talk with the engineers, we talk with the products that we want to put on the machines themselves, but to see it in real time. And you guys have implemented, I want to say, six Kitamura cells recently, so you know the actuality of the investment you made and what you're creating by utilizing the software, right? Absolutely, Tony. Uh, we, we, can, we can run the same part on two different machines and we can see if it takes longer to set up on one machine versus another machine. That kind of data helps us make our capital expenditure decisions. You know, it can also help us from a human standpoint. If we see the, the job was set up a month ago by one person and it took three hours to set up, and now there's a guy and it's taken him five hours, that's an opportunity for improvement for us. So, you know, we get the team together, we go out to the floor, and we see what's up. You know, is it a retraining? Well, we get to the root cause of the problem. That's, that's what we love about this data. Everyone says data is great, but it's the data you, you want to see. You know, data is only good when you use it, when you do something with that data. And that's what Factory Wiz is all about. It captures the data we need to see. Paul, what stood out to me during that piece of the conversation, I'm so grateful you said it, was I can put a part on two different machines and see what's going to give me my better runtime. Because exactly. I know some machines just have faster feeds and speeds, right? And some exactly. machines are a little bit more rigid. Some machines have more tools in them. Whatever it might be that's going to give you the best success, you can actually play with that to see what is in theory and what is in reality. Absolutely, Tony. You know, outside of cycle time and setup, it's also an ergonomic side of things. You know, can the operator or can the machinist access the part? Can it just so many factors make make it into being a successful operation? Wow, wow! I love this conversation, Paul. I do appreciate it. We have another page here that you want to we go do? over. Yeah. It looks like we have another tab. Uh, yeah, basically, as I, as I mentioned, uh, cycle times. So we can actually see the min cycle time, the max cycle time, why the machine was stopped. Another great aspect of this is we can see tool adjustments in real time. So that, that helps us keep our application engineers honest. You know, if we see adjustments more than one or two thousands, we know there's something wrong. But the machinist, the machinist always wants to make the part good, so sometimes he doesn't ask for help. In the industry we're in, it's highly regulated. So once we do first time runs, our program and our process is locked. So we want to get that information up front so we can give them the best process to make the best parts the most efficient way possible. I also like that, Paul. And so something I'm thinking about is being held accountable isn't something that the operators maybe need to worry about. What you want success for everyone. They want to make more money. They want to create more parts. We want the company overall to be successful. Something like this allows someone to look at themselves while they're machining and go, I'm doing a really great job today. 
and either I deserve a raise or man, I just I wasn't feeling it today and my numbers are down. But all of this is, is captured and presented in these documents. Exactly, Tony. You know, we did not bring this software online to, to monitor our people. Quite the opposite. You know, when we thought about bringing this software in, we brought all the people and the operators and the machinists into a conference room and we asked them what they need to see. It's not just about senior management. This is a full team effort, Tony, and everyone had a say in it and how it's implemented. Well, Paul, I want to ask you a hard question that not a lot of people like to discuss when we're talking about our specific product. We never want to know what we're not doing good enough, right? But I want to ask you, when it comes to Factory Wiz, you've collected a ton of data. Is there anything that you feel might be missing from here that you would like to see implemented in the future? And can that even happen? A very interesting question, Tony, and it's a, it, it's a, it's a good question. Um, we, we had Rich and uh, John from Factory was in here yesterday, you know, helping us get more machines online. And we, brought, we asked them some question about tooling. We want to see more tool management. We want to see the life we can get out of a cutting tool. So we asked the question, what could they do? They shared with the, they're in beta testing and, and towards the end of the year, they want to bring out a tooling module. The refreshing part of that, we were saying, can we see this? Can we see that? They turned around and they said, guys, what do you want to see? That's, that's, that's what's highly valuable to us working at Factory Wiz. They're going to tailorize it, customize it to what we need to see. These, these Factory Wiz guides, can't say enough about them. The support we've gotten off them in the last couple of months, we're still newbies to this software. We're still, we don't even know what we don't know yet. But to get to this stage so fast with their support, outstanding. These are the type of partners we need and want to create continued success as you guys continue to grow as well, right? Yeah. 100% Tony, 100%. You know, another point I didn't touch on, but when we got all this technology out on the floor, it spurred on more ideas from a quality standpoint. We're doing capability studies on these machines. They're not just monitoring operators putting in the pieces they made. We're doing capability studies in real time. Before that, we were writing it down on a piece of paper, oil was getting on it, paper was getting lost. Now it's real, real time on our network. We can look at it as soon as the machine is records it. Well, my friends, these are the type of partners we want. This is Factory Wiz monitoring the data that you can collect. This is my buddy Paul from Philip Precision Medicraft. Paul, thank you so much for Sorry. being a part of MTD and sharing this story. Guys and gals out there, I hope you've learned as much as I have today about how this can benefit you. Let's stop pretending like we know all the information and see if we actually do, right? Paul, thanks one once more time. And thanks, Tony. It's good to see you, buddy. Pleasure.